Hello, welcome to the vlog. It's Wednesday and I am starting recording and hopefully we'll get something out to you on Sunday. I don't really know what else to say for the intro. I've been pottering around the studio this morning just doing a couple of sketches for ideas for a customer who ordered some hand painted cards a couple of weeks ago and now we want some more for his mum and he's kind of suggested a seaside theme so I shall show you what I've been doing with those. I decided to just do them in my sketchbook so I know it's going to be slightly different quality on watercolour paper but this was drawing the boat first and then kind of doing the wash of the sea and the, the sand and just colouring colouring the boat in <laughs> and then this was just doing the sea in the sand and just drawing the boat over the top. Now I prefer this boat even though I drew it in pencil first and didn't like rub anything out it's much better proportions than this one but this one was copied from this one so maybe that's it but I do think that the boat needs some colour in it so I will probably go with something like the top one. The other thing I was playing about with was in my journal and of my art journal and it was similar to the picture that I showed you a couple of weeks ago with the watercolour and then the ink on top. Thoughts of doing it um, not with the butterfly I've, I've just added that for the for the journal. Thoughts of doing it for birthday cards that I can photograph or scan in and then print out with like happy birthday or thinking of you or new home and stuff but I'm thinking that the inks well I wanted it to be a bit darker because the watercolor ones when I scan them in are quite light so you don't get all the details although maybe I just photograph it so I was wondering if something darker like this would be better for scanning in I might what I might do is I might try and scan this in actually and see what it comes out like but I think it's I don't know it's I think it's a little bit too dark in places so maybe I could have made these flowers a bit taller and kind of made them up here but that's that's kind of what a journal is all about is um, is experimenting playing about with things okay I was going to video me painting these <laughs> but I just steamed ahead and painted them so I've I've got the the initial kind of wash well it is it is going to be the only wash it's not initial wash down um he also wants a couple of these cards as well and a couple of flower cards that I have set off doing there and then I've got my reference picture for the original thinking of you so they're just drying excuse the the shadow it's, it's a watery sunshine today they're just drying and then I will draw over the boats and the flowers.
work all day yesterday and when I got back I found I had an envelope. Happy mail from Tara Kate and I have not opened it yet because I wanted to open it on camera with you. So here we go. I wasn't sure whether it was better to do it like face down looking at the things or whether to have my face on it but yeah I think probably probably my face. So this is um ephemera from her journaling days. So I'm presuming Tara you don't particularly do art journaling anymore. So she decided to send me some goodies and there's a little note here. Maybe I should have done the, 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 the angle wider so you could see the stuff on my knee but I don't like having the door in. <laughs> I like considering the background. I don't really like having the phone there either, but we have to do that. Okay, so oh, these are these are some of her some of her little things. That's lovely. That that business card, the the square one. I wonder, I wonder if Moo do that do those. My business cards are made from the offcuts of the t-shirt industry. So they're made for, from, like, they cut the pieces out for the t-shirts and their offcuts of cotton are made into my business cards. And then there's a lovely, I, I don't have stuff like this, like nice, nice things <laughs> to send to people. Hi Gillian, here is some ephemera from my collection plus stickers and a, a zine I made. Enjoy, lots of love, Tara Kate. Thank you. Yeah, it is. That's lovely. That is absolutely gorgeous. And I love the I love the little saying on there. Stickers. Little sticker. Oh, I don't know. I, re I, re I think I remember Tara doing that and I think I probably commented on the Robin. There. So some lovely little stickers. I shall pop those away and have a look at the ephemera. Because that, that was that was the point, wasn't it? We've got uh, I will probably use this this little packet. I'll probably use that little packet as well. Right, changed angles so and you can see these because you don't need to see my my reaction <laughs> to all of the ephemera. <gasps> Does I, it I I can't remember if I've mentioned I like purple before. <laughs> so that is perfect. With all the little um, purple things. Oh, Japanese. Oh, and there's another. Lovely, lovely, lovely things. Oh, and a little tag. They are gorgeous. I don't normally like sharing personal things, but my son's name begins with B, so that that is quite spooky <laughs> and then we've got all sorts of oh, bingo cards cool <laughs> that's lovely oh double-sided oh, of course that had to be birds i hadn't thought of that scanning because that's obviously a scan of a of a page Will it be there? Oh, and some actual, actual pages. Oh, these are all just lovely. 
trying to, that must be, is that French? Yeah, that's French. Oh, these are just perfect. <laughs> Excellent. We've got a little map there. Japanese, that will be perfect because of the cherry trees and Minecraft. Oh, was that? Oh, I must have put that at the back. <laughs> New York subway. Oh, that feels like, it feels like wallpaper. Feels lovely. Oh, wow. Thank you, Tara Kate, for, for sending those. You, you, you can't believe how touched I am. Uh, was <laughs> when you emailed me to say that you'd like to send me some things and that was just lovely i um i really appreciate it i love the words on the zine hope that i can do things like this for other people because and and have it mean so much to them because uh, i think i mentioned it in a vlog a few a little while ago, trying to watch other artists, small small artists' vlogs, and like support them in a community, build up a community, share things like this, and that really means much. But it means so much to me that I I just I actually can't get words out, and they're all going higgledy piggledy. I can't think. <laughs> That was just very special and what I will have to do this week is I will have to do a journal page with some of those pieces of ephemera in and record it. Apologies that I didn't get a vlog out last weekend. I'm going to try very hard. It's Sunday. I'm going to try very hard to get this out today but life has still been a roller coaster. I haven't managed to get into routine. Things always come up to, to kind of scupper that and hopefully this week I will get into a bit more of a routine and try and organise so that I can do some art and make some vlogs and start really constructing how I'm going to work on the business alongside three days at the garden centre and one day a week, I think, now we'll have to be at the Bucky Duck because we are losing a member. So we're going to need to do, well, we discussed this at the meeting, maybe four, we, four days in a month or six, four days over six weeks or something. So really, I need to organise what I can do art-wise at the Mucky Duck so that I don't minimise the time that I have to spend on the business. Anyway, that's all, that's all for future me <laughs> to think about. Thank you, Tara Kate, once again for that happy mail. I will, you see, I don't know what to send. I haven't got like, I don't know. I would love to send you something back, but I'm not quite sure. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what, what anyone would like. This is, this is it. It's like, I, I don't have the confidence to think that somebody would actually like to receive um, something from me. So, <laughs> any suggestions? I would be happy because I'd love to share stuff and I like love getting through things through the post. And um, yeah, I think people don't do enough of that. Anyway, I'm going to sign off for now. I'm going to edit the video and I shall see you next week. Bye! If you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and consider subscribing and I shall see you next week.